Hey guys, Josiah here from EasyCaters.com. I uh, wanted to do today's uh, review of some of the uh, price volume trades I had in the market today. Um, so first of all, on MU, uh, we had a, you know, yesterday we had this downtrend. We gapped down and uh, tried to set up a short. The short triggered in. Now this, this is not a short that is part of my system, but this is a, uh, you know, you can see that some traders would have taken this short as it triggered below this green candle. And then they immediately got stopped out as it reversed back up here. Um, and so that kind of indicates that maybe this the day was uh, you know that was type of a type of fake out and the day was going to reverse and go in the other direction that's kind of what it did for a little while at least um, so we we had this move up above the MA and a uh, light volume pull back here this would have been a fine trade to take above uh, on a break above this red if that had triggered um, I actually wanted to wait for a little bit more uh, confirmation, so I waited for this signal right here. Uh, we had a little bit better of a context bar here where some commitment came in toward the uh, bullish side, and then we had a very light volume pull back to the MA, and it went just below the MA. Uh, low commitment candle, low volume. It just looks like a puny attempt to go short. And so I took that on a, a long above the, the high of that red candle. And it got to uh, my first target. So I took my first target and then uh, uh, the market reversed here and gave us another buy signal at this candle if it had broken above the high of this red, which it never did. So this, this signal was nullified. And then, um, so I was looking to add at that point, add back in after I'd taken my target. Uh, but it essentially, after it did this light volume pullback, sentiment changed in the overall market and the market started selling off. And you can see that commitment started coming in toward the downside at this point. And so the second half of my trade where I'd taken my first target, the second half I had my stop still down here and it stopped out down uh, down in this area. So I ended up with a net of 1R from that trade. Um, so just kind of a meh trade, but um, you know, we'll take it. And then uh, we had, as the sentiment was changing to the short side here, we had a nice opportunity to get short uh, I had already closed shop for the day because I had to go work on a, a rental house um, for uh, the late morning, but um, this would have been a good short signal here uh, as we had commitment to the downside doing this light volume pullback up to the moving average on low commitment and low volume. Uh, nice little tiny candle there to take a break under the low, and that one worked pretty well. And then, let's see, we had, yeah, we had another, after this bar came in and uh, broke us back above the MA, we had this light volume pull back to the MA. This was not as good of a signal, um, but it was, uh, it was decent, and I can see uh, where we could have taken that on a long uh, break above the high of this red candle right here. And that one probably would have just gotten to, looks like one and a half hours or so, so you probably would have just broken even on that trade. And then we started selling off, and we didn't really have any opportunities to get short here. Uh, so we missed a lot of this move uh, during the late morning. There was one kind of cheat entry right here where this green candle, normally I want to see the, the green candle retrace back up and touch the MA. It didn't quite do that, but the candle immediately following 
did touch the MA and then triggered it in. And so, so that's kind of a, um, a cheater entry that you, you can take sometimes if it's a good context. But um, anyway, so that one would have worked. That was the only opportunity to get short in here that I see. <clears throat> then we had um, an entry here. And this one, again, is not as good. See, the, this is a light volume, low commitment pull pull back to the MA, whereas this, uh, you can see that there's a lot of uh, commitment in to the downside and a lot of commitment to the upside, so it's not really clear what's going on. It's just uh, 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 the volume does dry up a little bit here, but it's just not as good of a setup. But it is a valid setup, um, and so the, I can see taking this short under a break of that candle and I think, yeah, this one would have been an immediate stop out. So, so that's uh, where I would have probably stopped for the day because um, so I had one decent trade here with uh, a net of one R all told. We had one that would have also done one R net, it looks like, and then one break even, and then one that would have gotten to a two R target down here. And then this would have been a stop out. So I think that would be a net of, um, what did I say, two R's, probably two, so two there, one, and one. Yeah, so that would have been four minus one for the stop, so uh, three R's there total, actually. And, um, and then at this point, we just kind of chop around through the MA. And this is the kind of action you want to avoid because it's just zigzagging back and forth across the MA, uh, not really giving you any clear context. Um, we had this nice context bar come in here, but then we took out the low of that. This would have been your entry candle, but it took out the low of this context bar. So it's kind of like it's not confirming what this, this bar is saying. Uh, what it what you would assume it was saying anyway, so uh, I don't think that would have been a valid entry. Then we had a super high commitment bar here, which marked the top of this pivot. So and I like to avoid those types of uh, signals here when they appear at, after a move because the, usually that marks the top or the bottom of a of a pivot. Um, and then you know of course the volume is drying up here in the later you know the lunch hour. <clears throat> and you get into the typical afternoon range bound type of thing. So I think um, I'm trying to see here if there are any good signals. Um, so this is just zigzagging back and forth across the MA, not really giving us any commitment in either direction. Um, we came above the the base here and then kind of based again, zigzagging through the MA. This, this probably would have been the only good context right here for uh, a final trade for the day if there was a chance to get long right in here. So, and I don't think these are all that great of signals actually, but um, since we were above the base at this point, uh, we had a context bar this uh, moving us up this direction, coming back to base on top of this uh, sideways pattern here. I could see taking this on a uh, long on a break above this candle here. Uh, probably not this one here. It's just just too small. But um, but yeah, so I could see that as being your final trade for the day, and that probably would have been one R net. So nothing really big on MU today. Um, on Twitter, uh, I was over here looking at this earlier. It was a similar, similar type of situation. It opened up, pulled in, acted like it was going to go sh short for the day, broke under this low, and then reversed back up. And this would have been a potential long entry here on a break above this red candle, and that would have worked very well, and then you also would have had a secondary entry right here on a break above this red candle, which came back and touched the MA on low commitment and low volume. Um, 
and then, but we had this high, I, I wanted to point this out because this is kind of a, a good example of the pullback that you don't want to see. So this, you can see that this is all highlighted. This is high volume, a wide candle, wider candles than, than the average around here. And they're brighter candles indicating higher commitment. So this is like stopping volume here. This is the end of the move. Uh, and this, so this high volume pullback, high commitment pullback is the opposite of what you want to see. You want to see the dark, small candles pulling back to the MA, these puny looking uh, candles that have no strength to them. And uh, so this is saying it's not a good trade to, to take on the break above this red. So that's how I would interpret that. So I wanted to point that out as uh, a good example of what not to buy. Um, anyway, so I think that's it for the day. Uh, yeah, like I said, I, I only traded for about a half a day today. Uh, the early part of the morning took one trade on MU and then had to go tend to some other things. But uh, uh, after I, I look back over the market, I noticed some of these trades that uh, that showed up. All in all, I don't think I really missed much today. So um, uh, we'll we'll see again tomorrow. See what we can find tomorrow. Anyway, if these videos are helping your analysis in, at all, um, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks.